So online banking and online shopping, it's a part of life. It's really unavoidable at this point in time. Uh, it's very difficult to live without it. Uh, however, when you are online, you want to be careful. So make sure anything, uh, any website that's requesting private information like your credit card number is secured. So you'll see HTTPS indicating that there's a level of SSL encryption there. So you want to look for that. Uh, in addition, many credit card vendors now are offering one-time virtual credit card numbers. So if you're going to make a purchase online, you can request a one-time use credit card number and use it just for that transaction. Uh, that way, if that vendor is breached somewhere down the road or they themselves end up being a source of malware, they really only get that temporary credit card number and it's not much of a risk to your account. There are actually uh, are many very effective uh, measures that the user could take prevent these uh, phishing websites. For example, the most effective ones is uh, pay attention to the little icon on your browser if you're using a, a well-known browser. Uh, all of them provide this uh, notification when you're hitting on some uh, websites whose identity cannot be verified. Uh, for example, whenever you go to your bank uh, or your financial institute, uh, Pay attention to the address bar. It should be gray and it should say this website is verified. But if you stumble upon a website that looks exactly like your banking uh, uh, websites, but uh, it, the browser doesn't say it's verified or even pop up something say this identity is not verified, then definitely uh, it's a phishing website. Uh, try to avoid that.